back today we are unboxing the Jeffree Star Supreme Halloween Mystery Box. I just got done unboxing the other two versions in my previous video. I'll have it linked down below. I'll put a little eye up to it in case you haven't seen that one yet. But today we are going to be talking about the Supreme Box here. So this version right here is the big one. This one is $200. It's supposed to contain 15 items and have a value of $412. This one is definitely the one that I always get the most nervous when checking out with because I'm just like, oh, 200 bucks. But I do it for you guys. You guys highly request these videos, so I do it all for you. So excited and nervous here. <laughs> I need my baby scissors. That way we can slice our way into this guy. we got here looks like maybe there was some apparel right up top let's see but it looks like we got a hoodie for this year's box here so it looks like we got a kind of Halloweeny themed design here on the back with the spider web Jeffree Star logo and the front had that just simple our logo up on the left hand side as we've seen from the previous boxes, these sweaters are typically the ones that get put inside of these Supreme boxes. You can kind of always expect it now. There is always gonna be a themed kind of hoodie in these boxes. I, I'm kind of like waiting and ready for it. But I mean, it's a cute little theme. I like the spider. Definitely, I do prefer the hoodies over the t-shirts. That's just my own personal preference. I wear the hoodies so much. I now have like a lineup of all Jeffree Star hoodies from all these boxes. But yeah, so that was the first item. Let's grab our second, which this looks like a black box. Ooh, is this the Halloween edition hand mirror? Oh, ooh, yes it is. Wow. It's actually completely matte, so it's got that like kind of soft touch to it. And there's a little look at the, the mirror there. And you know what? Actually, I think this one is an exclusive for the mystery box. I was double checking here online because I was like, wait, was this one of the weirdo collection? But it's actually not. This one's just an exclusive for the mystery box, it looks like. So that's really fun. I love that. I'm gonna put it back in its box for now. But those were first two items. Let's grab our third now, which looks like we got one of the giant lip bundles here, which this is the red version that I already have. It's right behind me here. Let me grab it. Wow, the giveaways are just getting better and better at this point. <laughs> the more I get these boxes. So since I now have two of them, I'm gonna set aside the new one. I will show you guys mine. Oh, I am missing a few. Uh, those are the ones that I keep grabbing for. Hang on. Boop. There we go. I gave away some of the ones that I had doubles of last time, so that's why I got two larger ones here. But uh, this is what she looks like. They would just be a little like, smaller. <laughs> but it's an eight piece bundle set here, and it's gonna be a mix of some pinks, some reds. Let's do some quick swatches. So first up, we got doll parts. Second is Calabasas. Third up, we got Wifey. Fourth is Watermelon Soda. Fifth is Anna Nicole. Sixth, we got Prom Night. Seventh is Red Rum. And eighth up, we got Unicorn Blood. Whoops, sorry, it went out of focus there for a second. But there are all eight shades. Definitely my favorite of the lip bundles with this one. It's the most wearable and has some of my favorite shades in there. Not bad for just the first three items though. Let's grab the next one. Ooh, which looks like another big one. Are you thinking what I'm thinking with this? We got the cremated palette here. For some reason, for a second, I thought I had this palette, but I don't. So let's take a look at it. Ooh. Here's a look at what this palette looks like. It's actually a lot of shades that we get in here. We get 24 shades. And as far as the shades go, it looks like we get kind of a mix of everything. I see some mattes, some foils, some metallics. I mean, you name it, it's definitely inside of this palette here. I actually have not owned like a full grayscale 
eyeshadow palette since high school. I used to be all about the like smoky, dark, gray eyeshadow looks like full on smoky eye, no foundation in high school. Ooh, that was a look. That was a look. <laughs> Never gonna show those pictures. <laughs> but it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've had a uh, palette like this. Man, those have been some big items so far. Let's go back to the box though. I think I'm gonna grab this guy. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but there was supposed to be an exclusive eyeshadow palette in every single mystery box. So if you haven't seen the previous video, you haven't seen this one yet, but this is the exclusive eyeshadow palette for the mystery boxes. It's also the weirdo palette. So I'm gonna be leaving her sealed and I'll show you the one I got in the previous unboxing here. So this is the weirdo palette. This is what she looks like. It's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. This palette is mainly mattes. There's eight matte shades and only one shimmery shade, which is that silver shade right in there. That's the only metallic. And so far I've been able to test out four out of the nine shades. I tested out the Glamour Shot, Mohawk, Only Child, and Freak Show. That's all of the shadows that I use for today's eye look. And I mean, those worked out really well. I still have a couple left to try, but so far so good. All right, back into the box again here. We got another product. Let's grab this guy. Again, I already know which one this one is. It is a Velour Lip Scrub for this Halloween mystery box. This one is the Witch's Brew. So I'll go ahead and set this one aside since I do already have my own. Where did I set it? Aha, found it. So this one is mine, the Witch's Brew. I haven't tested it out yet. I only opened it so that way I could sniff it and give you guys the scent because it didn't say it anywhere on the packaging and Witch's Brew could be anything. But this shade, shade. <laughs> this scent is black licorice. If you love black licorice, you're gonna love this. If you hate it, you are gonna absolutely despise this. <laughs> because it's a very strong scent of black licorice. For me, I absolutely love black licorice. It's one of my crazy qualities that my husband hates. He will not let me eat a piece of black licorice anywhere near him because he can't stand the scent of it. But, oh, I love it. I love it. It smells so good. Either you love it or you hate it. And then holy moly, we got another eyeshadow palette in this box here. This one I do not yet have. I could already tell by that wrapping. Oh gosh, I didn't even show you guys. I'm a terrible unboxer. <laughs> this is the wrapping. It is the mini controversy palette. It is the one that Jeffree Star collabed with Shane Dawson for. I think I'm gonna save this one and not open it for myself. I think I'm gonna save this one for a giveaway. This one might be really fun because I do have the conspiracy palette and I believe one or two shades inside of this one was supposed to be the same as in the big one. But let me show you guys a picture here on the screen of what this eyeshadow palette is supposed to look like. It does look very fun with a color scheme. It's just one that I think I want to save for somebody else. All right, back into the box here and it looks like the rest of this is going to be all makeup. So uh, let's grab some. And so it looks like we now got the Glouse in the shade Mouthful. And it looks like she's actually just gonna be a sheer gloss with a bunch of micro glitters inside. Since it's just a sheer gloss, I'm thinking we just plop it on what I already got on the lips now. Just to get a little bit of a feel. Looks like it's a mix of blue and gold sparkles. And there we go. So it looks like a mainly I see the kind of shininess of the gloss. I see a couple sparkles here and there, but Definitely very subtle. Back into the box we go. I think we got another gloss. Is this gloss? No. Oh no, it's not. I didn't even know Jeffrey had this. This is the Magic Star Liquid Concealer Corrector, I believe, because this is the pale yellow. Hang on a second. Let's look this up. Pale yellow to conceal the purple toned dark circles and evens and brightens the complexion. Back into the box here. And it looks like we got more lip products. We now have a Velour Liquid Lipstick. Now in the shade Thirst Trap. Let's take a look at what she looks like. 
Oh wow, and she is a full-on metallic shade here. They call it a champagne metallic, but it kind of looks like a rose gold to me. Let's see, let's see what she looks like on. I feel like I'm not getting much of the product out. Hang on, let me show you guys. Initially when I swatched it, it looked like a lot, but now afterwards, I'm trying to pull out product and I'm barely getting any out on the doe foot applicator. Like that thing looks like it's dry and I see the product moving around in there. I'm like scraping at it, but like nothing comes out on the wand. Like it's weird because that initial swatch was so like vibrant and now it's barely coming off. See the difference? I wonder if this one wasn't screwed tightly enough. Maybe it got dry in there? I don't know, but I'm not really getting a good kind of uh, swatch here. That, that's disappointing. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna set that one aside because it's not really working for me. Let's hope we have some better luck here with the rest of the products. I think I'm gonna grab this guy. Looks like now we got ourselves some of the Magic Star Luminous Loose Setting Powder in Natural. Let's just take a little peek at her. Oh wow, this might even be able to use as highlight because I think there's sparkles in this. So that's what natural looks like. You can actually see it quite well. I was thinking since it's a setting powder, you wouldn't be able to see it, but definitely quite luminous. I don't know if I'll personally use that just because I am very oily. I get my shine kind of naturally all over the face. I don't really want it in my T-zone. Yeah. So we might have to see with that one if I try it. But then it looks like we got two single eyeshadows in the box here. And I learned my lesson last time. These are single shadows that are from previous palettes. They are not new shadows. Let me find the ones that I have in the palettes. So here we go. The first one up top, that bright pink. That one's from the Jawbreaker palette. It's the one right in here. It is the F word. And then the second shade is from the Blood Money palette. And it is the shade Tax Free. Right up there. So those are the two shadows. Looks like we got three more products in the box here. Next up, we got a little something here from the Blood Money Collection. This is one of the automatic eyeliners. I got the shade Cold Digger. And I'm pulling up another one that I've gotten from the Blood Money Collection here, just to kind of show you guys what the pencil looks like. This is the money counter shade and that's kind of what the automatic pencil looks like. I'm not going to actually open this one up. This one, the cold digger shade is supposed to be just a rich brown shade, which looks very pretty, but I don't really wear the pencil liners all that often. So I just know myself I'm going to set this one aside because otherwise it's probably just going to sit in a drawer. <laughs> All right, and then back in the box again for our 14th item, which now it looks like we got a velour lip liner in the shade Leo, which here's a quick swatch of her. It is described as an orange brown shade. Kind of works out because now I get to switch up this uh, dried up metallic lip I got. All right, so let's plop her on. Nice little shade there. And then our final item inside the box, aside from this pamphlet here letting us know Jeffree Star Skin is on the way. Our final item, we have a Velvet Trap Lipstick in the shade Red Affair. Ooh, so is it gonna be a bright red? Ooh, and there she is. And they describe the shade as an electric red shade. And there we have her, the Velvet Trap Lipstick. But that was it, you guys, the final item for the Supreme Box. So we are supposed to have a $412 value, and I was able to add everything up to $397.98. And I believe what happened here is that the sweater and the hand mirror here are maybe a little bit more than the standard prices of the regular hand mirror for 25 bucks, the hoodie for 45 bucks. That's the price that I took to get that. It may be a little bit more because it's supposed to be like the special exclusive stuff. You know, we get into a little bit of that iffy territory with this stuff. I didn't see any of this iffiness with the other two boxes and there was an apparel in the, the deluxe box. That one was actually like the standard price. So a little bit like uh, about that. 
even though we're not far off from that clean value, you know, it's still something I want to mention with this box here. Definitely was a whole lot of product this time around. Got so much makeup. Honestly, like if you want to get like a ton of product, this is definitely the box to do so with. But I mean, definitely after a while, if you've been getting the mystery box continuously, you will st start to see a whole bunch of repeating products. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind if you are someone who's kind of like a repeat buyer of the mystery boxes. I know not as insane as me, <laughs> but you know, if you've gotten a couple, it's kind of, you're upping your chances a little bit for getting some repeats as we've seen with some of the stuff that I get. And having now unboxed all three versions, I can safely say which one's my favorite. And I'm actually gonna go with the premium box from the first video. Won't spoil it too much in case you haven't seen that one and you still wanna go watch it and be surprised by it, but uh, I think that's my favorite one this time around. Let me know what you guys thought of all of these three boxes, which one your guys' favorite was. Let me know down below in the comments section. And oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna do another giveaway inside of today's video as well. There was one in yesterday's video too. Um, what do I wanna give away? Do I wanna do weirdo or do I wanna do... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I did get three of these eyeshadow palettes, so why not? Let's do another. It'll double your chances in case you are interested in getting this eyeshadow palette. Now there is going to be one available for both of these unboxing videos. And like usual, just a couple of rules for the giveaways. You gotta be subscribed here on my YouTube channel, follow me over on my Instagram, and leave me your Instagram handle down below in the comment section because that's how I reach out to you and let you know that you've won. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!